New research out of Jackson County highlights some of the racial disparities within the community. It's part of a study done every three years. Our Luke Snyder spent the day looking through the data and is here for you now with how it's being used to make a positive change. When we do it together, it's bigger than if we're just out there doing it alone. Maisha Jones is part of the Jackson Collaborative Network, a team of community leaders ready to come to the table to have uncomfortable conversations when it comes to racial disparities in Jackson. We can change the systems that create oppression and that create inequities, and we can make Jackson a better place. For them, that starts with sharing their year-long study. There's power in numbers. The numbers on these pages tell us the story of deep underlying issues, including racial disparities in poverty, mortality rates, and food insecurity. Almost every outcome across the board is different for our black and African American residents, children included. The data shows 49% of black children are living in poverty in Jackson County, compared to 16% of white children, with black infants five times more likely to die before their first birthday than white infants. And 46% of African Americans say they worry about having enough money to buy nutritious meals. These are problems that and inequities that Jackson has experienced for a very long time. The research was completed thanks to the help of nearly 20 community partners. And while the group says there's a lot of great work being done in the community, more action is needed. It's not by accident. And that's the thing that I think we have to really take ownership of, is that our systems that produce these outcomes, they're designed to produce these results. And unless we actually redesign and interrupt those systems, we will continue to see these results. The group says awareness is one tiny step in the right direction, but it's not enough. They hope this research gets the ball rolling for change. First you have to know, but then you have to ask yourself, now that I know, what will I do? Difficult conversations they hope will bring the community together. Here for you in Jackson, Luke Snyder, 6 News. Michigan.